try a few samples today. The first one here, I would say this is it's a 2007, but I think this is a uh, encapsulates the Fetter Cairn flavours. Uh, it's a bourbon cask, and uh, I think it's got. Well, I'll let you decide yourself. We'll talk through it once we have a, a wee dram. So I think this is it represents a uh, Fetter Cairn whiskey quite a lot. It's got loads of fruit flavours, uh, like Andy's talked about before. Tropical fruits. I'm getting banana there, and uh, pineapple definitely, for sure. <laughs> it's good. Eh? Yeah. I found it last week. Oh really? Thank you for sharing this. It's really exceptional. I was fresh. I can't actually see there. I think it might be Heaven Hill. I was going to say, if it's the same as these, it'll be like Claremont Springs or something. Which the, the, the one, the, they're, they're mixed, and there is Heaven Hills among them, so it could well be. I can't really see there, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is the year of the Salation. Yes, 2007, yeah. That's all you're getting. <laughs> it's, it's, do, you, do you like this one? Do you like this one? Is it okay? No, 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 no. What, what was uh, last week we had uh, some uh, Asian visitors over and I said to them, I said, look, I said, we've got loads of good casks here. I, says, just, I knew this one had never been opened and I thought, I says, I'll just open it. I'm going to taste it and I'm thinking, oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> so that's why I, put it, I, I gave you it the day because I thought you'll, you'll really like it. We actually have another 2007 over there, which is, is very, very good. It's really good. I think this one is better. So that's why, I, yeah. But there's a load of... This the, all these casks are very, very like they're good first fill casks. They give you a lot of flavour. So you opened it the first time last week. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So they were the first ones to taste it. You're the second so people to taste it. How much is it? How much is it? I don't know. Are you gonna? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't. Ask Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure it could be a deal. Uh, no, I, I, to me, it, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. That's, I, I think the, the extra age is really doing justice to that whiskey as well. You know? What do you think? Unbelievable. Okay. So, if you grab your glasses. We're going to go somewhere else. We're going to go up the back there. I think I'll go and do the pale ale cask. Yeah, yeah, great. But I'm going to get a surprise because uh, the man over there, he wanted something different and I'm going to give him something different. So it's great. Okay. Yes. Do you think you like it? Okay, so this is a research and development area. So we've got various different casks here. This is cognac casks here. These are pink oak casks from France. Uh, I think that's more cognac casks here. These are uh, wine casks that had a uh, IPA in it. This one here is a special cask for Grey Glass. I can't remember what that's in. I have a funny feeling it might be rum, but I can't remember. 
These ones here, uh, Spinola casks here. Uh, Tavasa casks there. Uh, this one here that Andrew is standing by, it's, it's one of the first ever uh, virgin Scottish oak casks that was here. That was actually a trial, and it's turned out it's been really, really good and yeah. it's carried on through there. It's black in colour after. We're not opening that one again. No. Just now, anyway, for, for uh, Greg is instructing me to keep it closed. But we're going to do a few different tastings here. So, This is, uh, again, it's a 2007, I think. Yeah, 2007. I think it's been in this cast two years. Our local brewery uh, is Six Degree North. There's two of them. We've got Burnside Brewery in Six Degree North. Uh, and this is an IPA cask. I, I think it's very zesty with the hops in the finish. I don't know if you tasted it yet, but it's really floral. Uh, we did a tasting here uh, one day and I actually did some food for it. So we did like a, a alt blossom cheese, you guys, and uh, just with the herbs and stuff. And I thought it went well with a, like a malt biscuit because you can still taste the maltness through it as well. Uh, but see what you think yourself. So we're, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think what we're going to do next here. I think we. Uh, we've a, 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 a rum company in Scotland called Matuga Rum. Have you heard of this before? Yeah. We told it. Uh, red wine and rum. Yes, yes. I told you earlier. Yeah. Right? You told yeah. So, so I'm, I'm going to let you taste it. It's full of flavour. Uh, they're actually doing. That, that, I think ours was the first whisky cask they ever did in the rum. Since then, we've we've provided them with some more casks, so we're we're due to receive some more back, and we'll yeah. we'll get some finishings done in them. Uh, but this one here, originally, I think I told you, it was in a red wine cask, and it, and it actually tasted a little bit like rum and raisin. So uh, Greg Glass, our whiskey maker, uh, he said, this is, oh, let's put it into this cask. It's, it's a rum cask, because it's rum and raisin with this. And then he, he pretended he was, there was a famous horse over here called Red Rum. I don't know if you, so he says, oh, we'll just call it Red Rum, because it's in the, the red wine into a rum cask. So I'm going to let you taste that and see what you think of it. This is a Matuga rum cask. Was this a transfer? Did you fill this? Yeah, a transfer. Uh, it's a 2016. It's transferred about, I think, about two years now right. uh, into this Matuga rum. Uh, loads of flavour. Tasted it last week. It was, it was really nice. So I don't know. They change sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's nice. Whoa. It's like I don't know if you have these say uh, sweets, cola cubes. Have you ever heard them? Does it smell like that a bit? Yeah, yeah. We have a, we have confe confectionery over here called Cola Cubes, which is basically Coca Cola kind of thing. It's little sweets, and if you know it, it kind of has a nose of that. It's very sweet. It's I don't know what kind of rum it is. It's a, it's a Scottish rum company called Matuga. I, I I actually don't know the rum that's, that it's come from, uh, but uh, it was a red wine cask it was in. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was going to do this in here. It's Pedro Jimenez. You like it? Yeah. Okay. I love it. 
It wasn't a bourbon cask. It was wasn't a bourbon cask. It's been finished in this here. So that's it tells you. I think it tells you pretty much everything here. Uh, it's a 2007. It was transferred on the. I can't even read that. This one. Yeah. So it's. Page 20. Yeah. So it's almost three three years in this cask. Ah, okay. So you are finishing. Yeah. Actually, you are finishing. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. It's okay. And it was a, is it, is it, is it? It's a, it's a Pedro Jimenez cask, Spinola. Second thing? I, I don't know that, I'll be honest with you. What do you yeah. That's, that's like Pedro Jimenez forgot all his bad habits and only left the good habits. Yeah, yeah. We were saying that the, the Jimenez Spinola, uh, they, they only grow Pedro Jimenez grapes, but they make all different styles of wine. So actually, there's like a nuttiness and a kind of toasted coconut note in the whiskey because it's not a fully super sweet Pedro Jimenez sherry. You know, it's like a little bit oxidized as well. Buttery as well. It's not yeah, it's it's okay. It's not my favourite today, anyway. No, it's it's no, I'm just I, I, honestly. Sometimes we are in here, like you'll taste one cask one day. And I think it's the same even in, when you're drinking. Some days you taste it and think, oh, that's absolutely beautiful. And the next day you go, oh, that's not quite as good as I thought. Or, do you know, some, it just depends. I think sometimes the weather as well. If it's really warm, everything comes to you. I think it's got a lot to do with it. You're drinking... It's about the mood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, drinking sherry whiskies on a really hot day. I'm not into it. I, I, I think it's too heavy. I think it's I think it's more for a really cool day, you know, a winter's night or something, drinking that. For me, that, that's personal. Also not for me, and I love to usually with this cast. It's too... It's a sweetness, but I don't like it so much. You're looking for something better. Okay. Right, you've thrown the gauntlet, that's it. I'll have to... I'll have to go and... I'll have to go and find something for you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me the opener and I'll choose the no. no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait a minute, I'll, I'll find something for you. Shall we do one more? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, so this, this last one, I kept it for last because it's, you know, uh, it might not be everybody's taste, okay? Uh, we found it here, uh, it was only about last year. We're going through some casks and we noticed that it was obviously different from something that we have here at Fetter Cairn. But uh, it's actually, it's got its flavour from the whisky it was in before, but it's so light it really suits because I think too strong a flavour really overpowers Fetter Cairn. So I'll let you taste it, see what you think. No, it's not a first of all bourbon, no. It, no, that's rubbish. Some, that wasn't me that wrote that. No. <laughs> because, because it doesn't look like a bourbon. No. 
Did, did, have you, what the cast type was? Yeah. What was in? Well, what what was in it before? It was it was Ardbeg whiskey that was in it before. Ardbeg whiskey was in there. I love whiskey then. Yeah. Do you like it? It's, it? For me, it's it's not peated. I'm not really into the peated whiskies, but it's it's smoky, yeah. and it's it's got a really sweetness from the fetter cairn. No, maybe slightly. I, I, I took a, a peated glass, and it, you definitely smell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh. I'm sensitive to smoke, so I can smell it in a willow. Do you smell it? It's the same, yeah. It's the same one. Yep. It's the same one. I think it's maybe in the sherry in it or something. so you don't have to my glass. That's <laughs> no, no, it just came in. It just came in. We filled it. It was a random cask, and we nosed it and was like, "Oh, that's different." Wow. <laughs> you know what? It tastes, it tastes like, like, uh, it tastes like it's good, isn't it? Oh, it's good. At, at, at first, it's like. It's, I, I think it's like I think it's like something uh, like barbecue ribs off a, of a you know that's kind of that sweetness. It's lovely. <laughs>